Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to part four of episode 56 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. We're back here at Sim State University, and uh, all five of our students are here together right now. We are about 40 hours away from their final exam, and this is Kevin, Fabian, and Eva's senior year. And in our last episode, Fabian and Gia were put on academic probation. Oh, I'm sorry, it's also Gia's uh, senior year. It is Ivan's freshman year. He has just joined the household and started um, his freshman year of school. And everybody else in the house is a senior right now. Fabian and Gia should have graduated last semester, but they didn't. They did not get enough skills to pass. So now everybody's coming home from class right about the same time. And I'm just trying to see what everybody is up to. It looks like everybody is going to go woohoo <laughs> all at the same time. They all came home from class and were like, you know what? We just need to forget about school for a little while and just go woohoo. <laughs> now, Eva is sick with the flu, so she's been resting. Um, she still wants to have three loves and woohoo with three different sims, but she's too sick really to work on that right now. I'm just trying to have her rest in bed. Okay, you're not going to go play. You're going to rest. <laughs> and we'll let these guys go ahead and finish up their woohoo here, and then we'll see what everybody wants to do with the evening. Well, the stalker just ran into the house, ran into both rooms, and streaked in front of everybody while they were trying to woohoo. <laughs> oh, the fun of university. Okay, well, it looks like Kevin and Fabian are done. So let's check on them. Fabian wants to buy a game, and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to buy a chess table. Some of our Sims do need logic to improve their skills enough to pass. So if we buy a chess table, that might encourage them to play with it and get their logic skill up. And since Fabian has that one, we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, I did buy them a chess table. I had to sell their desk and move the laptop into the kitchen because one, this was the only place we could really fit a chess table. And two, it took almost all of their, their pooled money that they had here. <laughs> so they do have a chess table now. Let's hope somebody will actually want to play with it. Right now, Kevin, he just wants to talk about his hobby, talk to a relative, dance with someone. And so he and Fabian will probably just hang out tonight. Uh, Fabian wants to play, play with. So the two of them will hang out tonight. And then as soon as Ivan and Gia get done here, which should be pretty soon, <laughs> we can check on them and see what they want to do. Gia still wants to make the Dean's List and she wants to research with someone. She's going to be working very hard to make her dream come true. Uh, she only needs two more logic skill and two more cleaning but now that she has the chess table we can probably get her logic skill up pretty easily so I'm really glad that Fabian wanted to buy that chess table and that they had enough money to buy it so the first thing I'm going to do is send her down there to practice and then we'll have Ivan come answer the phone Ivan is actually going to do very well and um, he still hasn't rolled any wants to declare a major so right now he is just undeclared Okay, Gia has gained a point of logic skill from the chess table. She's been playing all day and all afternoon. Oh, and it looks like Eva is healthy again. She no longer has the flu. Let's check on Gia. Uh, she still needs one more logic point or two cleaning uh, in order to get enough to pass. So let's cross our fingers for her. She's, we're going to keep having her work on those skills. Oh, look, Fabian and Kevin are over here dancing in the corner. How cute. Uh, she does need to take a break right now and get something to eat, go to the bathroom. She's very well rested, so she can probably work on her skills some more tonight after that. Uh, Ivan doesn't really want to do anything that we can have him do. He wants to perform music for tips, win a dance contest, win a cooking contest, or smussle dance. He is a very good dancer and he loves dancing. So we'll just have him go over here and do the smussle after he finishes cleaning the stove. At least somebody's cleaning up around here. The house is pretty filthy, but you know, there are a bunch of college kids living together and they're broke, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, let's see what he rolls now. Finally, he wants to reach cooking level one. Okay, he doesn't need cooking, but that's something. Maybe whenever he decides to uh, change his major, he will need cooking. So we'll go ahead and have him study that now. Oh, <laughs> Kevin just got goosed. 
All right, so Eva was relaxing in bed daydreaming because she was sick. Um, she needs charisma skill, which she has no desire to get, and she doesn't really need it to pass. She's still going to pass uh, her senior year and get her degree, even if she gets no additional skills. So we'll just kind of let her do what she wants tonight. It's a little late for her to go out, and she just started feeling better at like 10.30 at night. So she's just going to hang, hang out tonight. And we'll probably start just taking care of everybody's needs. G is going to continue working on her skills. Oh, thank goodness. Kevin has finally rolled the want to gain a skill point, And that is going to be the difference for him to allow him to pass. I just kept fulfilling his wants. Um, he wanted to dance with someone, so he and Fabian were dancing together. And then he rolled the want to gain a skill point. Oh, just one. Oh, my gosh. Well, hopefully, if we get him one skill point, then he'll want to keep going. He needs creativity. So we're going to have him go write in his diary to get creativity. And maybe after he gets one creativity skill point, he'll want to get more. We'll keep an eye on that. Fabian, I keep fulfilling his wants and he still doesn't want to do anything related to school. He wants to play on the couch, pull a prank, have a party. He is a pleasure sim through and through. All right, Gia has gained a point of cleaning skill. She is getting closer. Let's check. Oh, she got all the skills she needed. Yes. Now, that's not enough to get on the Dean's list, so we'll keep having her work on that, but at least she is going to pass. She is going to get her degree. We're, we will try to get her on the Dean's list. Um, I'm going to have her practice logic a little bit, and then she's going to need to go to bed soon. Kevin is still working on his creativity skill over here. He's hiding his diary from Gia. <laughs> And Ivan is still over here studying, I don't remember what he was studying, cooking. He was studying cooking. He's already got three cooking skill points. Okay, I think he can quit that now. He wants to buy new clothes. Well, he doesn't have any money to buy new clothes, so I'm not going to lock that in for him now. And he's going to get new clothes when he ages up to a young adult. For now, we're just going to take care of his needs, get him something to eat, and everybody's going to go to bed. We have about... Oh, it's six in the morning. Oh my gosh. We have about 27 hours until the final exam. They don't have to go to class until this afternoon. So they're going to, they're going to go get some sleep before they have to go to class and everybody's bank accounts are earning interest, which is great. All right. It's 1.30 in the afternoon now. And Kevin just got a creativity skill point from writing in his diary while the cow and cheerleader danced loudly behind him. <laughs> But that wasn't enough. He needs three more creativity skill in order to pass. And he has no desire to do that. Oh, he's going to roll another one. Let's see what he gets. Nope. He does want to influence someone to write his term paper, which is going to do him no good whatsoever. So let's just try to fulfill some more of these wants. Oop. Ivan was almost late for class. Let's have him talk to Carrie and just, what did he want to do? Talk about hobby? Uh, talk about, I think his hobby sports. I forgot. Let's, let's check. I think it's sports or fitness. Oh, it's fitness. Let's have him talk about fitness. Okay, yay! He wants to get creativity level two now. It worked. I'm going to have him get some breakfast and then start working on that right away. And then Gia is, oh my gosh, Gia wants to have a wish. She wants to wish on the magic lamp. I'm so excited. Gia is a fortune sim. That means she gets to wish for money. She is going to get all of the, those sacks of cash to put together with all the sacks of cash that Ivan got. They are going to be loaded by the time they get out of college. Let's go have her do that right away. Oh, she has to go to class. All right, as soon as she gets back from class, she's going to do that. We're going to lock that in too. That is super exciting for, for Gia and Ivan. Well, everybody's back from class, and it looks like Ivan just got a membership card to, the, to Sue's Secret Kitchen because he loves to cook. He's been serving food. He had the want to serve food, so he made some grilled cheese sandwiches for everybody. He wanted to learn the cooking skill. He's always wanting to cook things, so I guess he got enough enthusiasm that he got invited to the secret lot. Eva's still doing fine. The only thing she really wants to do is make out and woohoo. And I'm kind of trying to wait until we get her back to Pleasant View before she goes on any more dates. And she's almost done. And I really don't want to start a, a new relationship. Um, she's already been with Bobby and her professor. And she's only got 16 hours left of her senior year. She does want to learn lifelong happiness. We might have her work on that a little bit after she finishes eating. 
and we'll have her study lifelong happiness. And then Fabian, he's over here playing chess. Oh my gosh, does he need logic? No. And the cheerleader and cow are getting in a fight in the living room. That is just great. They are so annoying. I'm going to have Fabian tell them to get the heck out of here as soon as they finish fighting. Get out. Um, let's see. Ask everyone to leave, please. Our students are trying to study and better themselves, and they don't want to watch you fight in their living room. Oh, my gosh. Although Fabian and Kevin are kind of over here, like, egging it on. <laughs> They're like, fight, fight. Jeez, this is the longest fight ever. Come on. All right, Fabian's kicking them out. Get out, get out. Now, Kevin, he still wanted to get level two, reach creativity level two, so we're going to have him do that now by writing in his diary. And then Gia, she's going to make her wish. I'm going to send her upstairs to use the bathroom. Oh my God, look at this toilet. Oh, it's horrible. Nobody's wanted to clean it. Ivan sometimes cleans, as you can see him doing down here in the window. But I think he's the only one I've ever seen clean anything. Okay, Gia is summoning the genie to get her wish. Two wishes remain. One is for Kevin and one is for her. She is going to wish for wealth. Hmm. She's thinking about it. I know, I know. Give me a big sack of money. <laughs> That's what I want. And here it comes right out of the sky. If only this could happen in real life, right? Okay, grab that sack. Get money. All right, and she is going to dismiss the genie, and then she is immediately going to go downstairs and deposit this money. Okay, and Eva just decided to make a booty call to Bobby. <laughs> so she just all on her own went and called him up and invited him over. Look, here's the penguin. So she's going outside, I guess, to wait on Bobby. Yep, she's like, where is he? Come on. And I have to just keep making Kevin go and write in his diary because they don't do it for very long. And that's the only way we have for him to get this creativity skill that he needs. So I just keep sending him in there to do that. And here comes Bobby. <laughs> so I guess they're going to have their booty call. Bobby and Eva are going straight upstairs to use Gia and Ivan's bed for their booty call. <laughs> And we'll just peep on them a little bit. All right, what's your deal, Fabian? Go inside. <laughs> Fabian still wants to do nothing related to school. At this point, he is going to fail out. Um, we have 11 hours until the final exam, and he is the only one who isn't going to make it through. Uh, there's no way we can get him enough creativity. He probably could get enough charisma if he rolled the one, but he hasn't. So he's going to be failing out of college in his senior year. And, you know, that makes sense to me. <laughs> it's, it fits. Oh my gosh, Kevin, get out of here. Kevin walked in and was like, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. I just need to go mop up this puddle. <laughs> oh, is Fabian going to go through there? Okay, no, he's going to take a bath. All right, Gia is downstairs working on her logic skill. I don't know if she's going to be able to get on the Dean's list, but at least she's going to get her degree. And Bobby's like, okay, see you later after he and Eva finished up their booty call. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, Gia was outside and looking through the telescope and she gained her final logic skill that she needed. She, her meter is all the way maxed out as far as potential, but she just needs to study more. She's not very tired and I think she could probably cram all night long and let's see if we can get her on the Dean's list. I'm going to have her go, uh, first of all, let's have her do an assignment. And then we'll have her research or maybe do a term paper. She's just going to try her best all night long. She and Kevin are the only ones awake um, actually working on school. And it is six hours until final exam. Okay, guys, Kevin just got his next creativity skill. Oh, but he still needs two more. He's not going to make it. He's going to go on academic probation. Um, he only has five hours until his final exam. There's no way he's going to make it. He's going to go on academic probation, but he still has one more shot to pass. Okay, everybody's back from their final exams. 
Ivan met all the requirements to become a sophomore. He finished the semester with a grade of B. He got a 700 simoleon grant. Okay, Kevin went on academic probation like we knew he would. He got a D and no grant. Gia graduated. I'm so happy for her. She didn't get on the dean's list, but she did manage to get a B in her final semester. She got a grant of 700. Fabian just got expelled from college. He suffered a D. He suffered a D for the semester. He suffered it? That's an odd way to say it. He got a D and he has been expelled. Fabian did not pass. I wonder if he's going to go into aspiration failure. He kind of looks like it. Eva graduated. She managed to get through college and only by her pure skill and charm was she able to skate through. She got a C plus final grant of 500 simoleons. And our ages now are Fabian is now 23, Gia is 23, Kevin is 22, Eva is 22, and Ivan is 19. Now that Eva and Gia have graduated, they are still going to be living here, and so is Fabian. They are still going to be living here, even though they are no longer in school. They're going to all live here until everyone finishes college. So either Ivan finishes or fails out, and Kevin it will have to finish or fail out. He only has one shot left. And to be honest with you, I'm not so sure he's actually going to make it. Okay, let's press play and see what's about to happen to Fabian. He did. Oh, he's aging up. That's right. He's aging up. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. He is now a young adult. Or I'm sorry. He's an adult. Fabian can move out now or stay. For example, to wait for peers to age up and leave together. So move out now? No, he's going to stay. He is going to stay behind. Uh, here he is, Fabian, as a, an adult. And he looks just as handsome as he did as a young adult. <laughs> not much has changed. And I know you guys probably thought that I forgot about his hair, but I have not. So I'm going to go back and count all the votes and see if Fabian is going to grow his hair back out as an adult or if he is going to leave it short as he had it in college. Well, I went and added up all the votes from the first video and it's a tie. <laughs> it was a tie between short and long hair. I didn't count any of the votes that said they liked it either way. I only counted the votes for people who said they wanted it either long or short. And we got 12 votes for each. So in that case, I'm, I'm going to be the tiebreaker here and I am keeping his hair like this. I think he's grown out of his long hair. He likes the style and I also really like it on him. So he is keeping the short hair. And this is the outfit that he aged up into, which I actually think is kind of cute. It's not too bad for him. I like the pants and the boots and the green jacket with the tie underneath. He looks grown up, but still pretty stylish. I like it and I'm going to let him keep it. So there is Fabian all grown up. And as you can see here, he is an adult now and he is going to be aging normally in the university neighborhood. Eva and Gia technically still have 72 hours to leave the campus, but uh, so we might have to adjust their age once they get past the 72 hours. Uh, if we do, we do. That's okay. But they will be aging up to young adults at the end of that time period. Or, you know, we could just go ahead. I think we'll just go ahead and age them up to young adults now. That way we don't have to worry about it and everybody's ages will stay in sync. So I'm just going to use the Sim Blender. And we're just going to age Eva up to an adult now, and then we'll do Gia. So let's watch as she ages up. Oh, Fabian's crying because he got expelled, but he sure didn't care enough to, to do anything about it. Oh, and actually, I think they're, they are aging up into their outerwear, aren't they? That's not Fabian's outfit. That's going to be his outerwear outfit. I thought that was going to be his everyday Well, here is Gia all grown up. Now, we will probably take some of that makeup off of her. That she had on as a young adult. <laughs> that was some heavy blush. We will be taking that off of her. We're going to have to send them inside to see what they're actually going to look like with their outfits. And we might need to make a change. Let's go ahead and age uh, Gia up as well. We'll get to see what she's going to look like because she's inside. Oh, she was, she's going to, okay. I guess we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait on her while she uh, goes and spends some quality time with Ivan to celebrate her graduation. Um, and here comes the streaker. Okay, that is weird, Lyle Norton. That is weird. Get out of here. We're not trying to have a threesome. <laughs> okay, so let's send Fabian and Eva inside so we can see what they look like. Give Eva a little bit of a makeover since she is an adult now. Their back door's been stuck open for like two days. And they haven't had the money to uh, replace it. 
Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh boy. She's crying because Fabian got expelled, but look at what she is wearing. She cannot wear this as an adult. This, no. <laughs> She can't. We're going to give her a complete makeover. Um, let's bring Fabian inside so we can look at him first. This That looks like something a teenager would wear. She's supposed to be maturing, not getting younger. <laughs> okay, here comes Fabian. Um, wearing his, what I presume are his pajamas. So let's change him into everyday. He's wearing the same pajamas that Dustin Broke was wearing. This is his everyday. No way would Fabian ever wear this. Okay, makeover time. We will be right back after I finish making over Fabian and Eva. And then we will also age up Gia and do the same for her. Here is Fabian's new look. I just gave him a hoodie and some jeans and some sneakers because Fabian is very laid back, very casual. He just cares about being comfortable, having fun. He likes spending time in nature. So I don't want to give him anything too stuffy or even anything too, like, stylish that would be uncomfortable. So I gave him this very comfortable outfit. I think it suits him very well. And now it is Eva's turn as soon as she gets out of the shower. Okay, here is Eva's new adult look. I gave her a very form-fitting dress. I feel like Eva would dress very sexy. I know this is not practical, but Eva is not a practical girl. <laughs> this is what she's wearing. Eva kind of reminds me of, did you guys ever watch that show, The Nanny? <laughs> Fran Drescher. I love Fran Drescher, and Eva kind of reminds me of her. <laughs> So I kind of dressed her like that. And I gave her some much more subdued makeup. She does still wear quite a bit, but it's not quite so bright on her cheeks. And I gave her a little bit of a darker pink lipstick and kept her smoky eye. She is still very beautiful. And uh, she's a romance sim and she dresses to impress. <laughs> so we are done with Eva, done with Fabian. And now we're going to set our attention on Gia. Looks like she's just finishing up upstairs. So once she gets dressed again, I'm going to go ahead and age her up to a an adult. And there she goes, aging up to an adult. And she's aging up into her outerwear. All right, let's change her into her everyday so we can see what she's wearing. Oh, and I guess we can get rid of uh, her want to get on the Dean's list because that's not going to happen. Okay, this is what Gia's wearing. Okay, no. <laughs> I do not think Gia would wear that uh, skirt and sweater. I really don't. So we're going to give her a slight makeover as well. Here is Gia's new look, a little bit more grown up, but kind of the same colors that she likes. She tends to like this mint green kind of teal color. Um, and I just really like this outfit on her. I think it looks really cute on her. And she's also keeping her same uh, makeup and hairstyle. And there is Gia all grown up. She has that uh, diamond shaped face, just like Nina does. So everyone is an adult here except for Kevin. He is still a young adult, even though technically he is the age of an adult. <laughs> He's still a young adult because he hasn't graduated yet. We're going to have to keep a close eye on him and see if we can get him to pass. Although I do have a sneaking suspicion that he might actually fail out. He and Fabian both. And that would be a first for us to have two, uh, two people in a relationship both fail out. Usually at least one of them makes it. But he is exhausted and now he has to go to class. And we will also keep an eye on Ivan to see if he rolls any wants to declare a major. So far, nothing. He's just undeclared. Ah, uh, but he has all the skills he needs to get all the way up on the Dean's list if he wanted to. Um, and we also need to deposit everybody's money into the bank that they got from their uh, previous grants. Oh no, it is 12 o'clock in the morning here and we are getting burgled by Russ Bear and I don't think I ever bought them. I didn't ever buy them a burglar alarm. Russ Bear is coming up here to burgle them. Let's wake somebody up. Fabian, wake up. Everybody wake up. I'm just going to start sending everybody down here. Um, oh my gosh, what is he going to steal? Come down here and call uh, emergency. I don't think that's going to do any good. He's already going to come in and do his damage. What are you taking? We only have 44 simoleons. <laughs> Alright, what's he going to take? Please take something stupid like a light fixture. 
All right, this is weird. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take that telescope. <gasps> He's gonna freaking take the telescope. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, Fabian, hurry up. He stole your extremely expensive telescope. Oh, there he goes. It's too late. It's too late. He got away. <laughs> oh no. Well, I guess we can call. I don't know if it's, it's not gonna do any good at this point. Thanks a lot, police. You're way too late. You're way too late. Oh. Raymond Sintowski. Yeah, I don't know why you're running around in here. He's gone. <laughs> the burglar is gone. I know. Thanks anyway. Oh, look, and now Fabian's crying because he got his telescope taken away. That was actually Alexander's telescope, I believe. And now, oh, Kevin's sad, too, because they got burgled. I can't believe that. And I just completely forgot to ever buy them a burglar alarm because they didn't have anything, really. Um, So maybe we'll have to withdraw some of Ivan or Gia's money and buy them a burglar alarm. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it at this point, really. Well, it's 530 in the morning. Everybody's waking up now, and... Ivan wants to buy a burglar alarm, so we're going to withdraw some of his money and use that to buy an, a, a burglar alarm since he wants to. <laughs> He's not happy about getting burgled. Uh, let's have him go bank online and withdraw. Oh my gosh, I don't know how much they cost. I think they're like 800 simoleons. Let's see. No, 250. Wow, that's a lot cheaper than I thought. <laughs> okay, but we still have to withdraw the money because we don't have enough. So he's going to withdraw uh, 300 simoleons. And we, we will buy them a burglar alarm. Oh, wow. He just got 1,200 in interest. Everybody's bank accounts are uh, accruing interest here. And he has $23,000 after he withdrew that money. I'm going to go in and get them a burglar alarm right away. We're going to put it right here by the front door. And I just noticed that since Gia wished for the money, she has only received one big sack of money. And I just want to look around the lot and make sure I didn't miss it. Nope, she hasn't received any more. So we'll keep our eye out for that and see if she gets her two more sacks of cash. Okay, Ivan and Kevin are back from their final exams. And unfortunately, Kevin was expelled from college. He suffered a D for the semester. He did not graduate college. I totally saw that coming. He wanted nothing to do with school or studying or building skills in his last semester. So he also failed out. Both Kevin and Fabian failed in their senior year. They made it all the way to senior year, so they'll be able to get pretty far in their chosen careers, but they didn't get degrees. Ivan met all the requirements to become a junior. He finished with a C plus. He got a 500 simoleon grant, and he, because he never rolled the want to declare a major, he has been automatically declared into the philosophy major, which doesn't really seem to fit him at all, but hey, that's what he, that's what he chose to do. Okay, so Kevin is not moving out. Kevin is just aged up to an adult, and of course, he looks pretty much the same. Now, we're going to take him inside so we can see what he looks like, uh, what he's wearing. Or actually, we can just change his, let's just change his outfit out here. Oops, don't do yoga. <laughs> Change your outfit into every day. Wow, and Kevin is the first one who wanted to get a job. He is the only one in this household who has wanted to get a job. He wants to get a job in the politics career. I love that. Kevin is very charismatic. He's a popularity sim, and I think that the uh, politics career would be great for him. So this is the outfit that he has chosen for himself, this orange sweater and jeans. I'm actually going to let him keep this because it's not too horrible. I'm pretty sure this is a base game sweater, but it, it actually doesn't look that bad. And uh, the jeans... So he just kind of, he kind of got a more mature look as he aged up to an adult and realized, hey, I just failed out of college. I've got to get some kind of job. I can't just be goofing around <laughs> anymore. So he's also going to get a haircut so he can work in the politics career and people will actually take him seriously. So we are going to gussy up and give him a haircut right now. And here is Kevin Burb's new grown-up look. 
Now, I wanted to give him a cute hairstyle, but still something that he could work in the politics career and not be criticized for. So I gave him just this cute little regular uh, men's cut with, it's a little bit longer on the top and sides. And then he shaved as well. Now, I did let him keep a little bit of stubble because I think Kevin would have a little bit of stubble, but he did shave off most of his facial hair. So this is how he looks now. And he's just ready to get into the working world to grow up a little bit. And wow, you can really see the resemblance uh, between him and John Burb now that he's aged up and changed his hair a little bit. You can really see uh, the Burb in him. So the first thing we're going to do then is go and see if we can find him a job since he's the only one in this household so far who has aged up and actually wants to work. We're going to go check the... We're going to go check the computer and find a job and see if there's anything available. He is looking for a full-time job. And it looks like Gia and Ivan are upstairs woohooing <laughs> while Kevin is down here looking for a job. And there are some jobs he can start in level two and three. Law enforcement is one of those, but he doesn't want to work in law enforcement because he did get so far in his uh, college degree. And slacker. Nope. Okay, so there are no jobs available in politics. He's going to keep looking for that. We are going to keep that locked in for him. Now, I can't find him on the panel because I'm looking for his braids. <laughs> and he's crying because he didn't graduate. He's realizing what a mistake he made. But there's no going back. There's no going back in the Sims world. Once you fail out of college, that's it for you. And instead of depositing Ivan's money into his bank account, since he already has so much money, he's going to use his to order groceries because they are out of groceries. They had to order a pizza because that was all, the, all that they could afford. He's going to call grocery delivery and have some food brought over. And so another year has passed here at in Sim State University. Let me just order these groceries. And we will talk about the ages. So Fabian is now 24. Gia is 24. Kevin is 23. Eva is 23. And Ivan is 20 years old. Now we still have to stay here in the house until Ivan graduates. He has two more years left, his senior, his junior and senior year. And let's take a look at how he's doing. He is going to pass his junior year easily. So now our focus is just getting him through his next two years. Uh-oh. The mascots are in a fight in the living room. So annoying. So our focus is... Okay, clean this up then. Our focus is getting Ivan through his last two years of college and getting Kevin a job. Um, Eva, she still wants to date and make out with everybody in town. We're kind of going to put a hold on that just because it's going to make our time here in Sim State University take longer. And I really want to get this wrapped up so we can get them back to Pleasant View. So she's going to have to wait on her uh, dating anymore unless she wants to see Bobby or the professor again. She can invite them over. That's fine. And then Fabian, I'm hoping that he's going to want to get a job. So far, nothing. <laughs> so far, he just wants to date and party and have fun. He's really enjoying just living here doing absolutely nothing. And Gia has also not wanted to get a job yet. So we'll just keep an eye on her needs. And then that's pretty much it. Um, we're just going to watch them for these last two years and see what happens with them. All right. So Eva just called Bobby over for another booty call. <laughs> she is constantly inviting him over. She called him up and uh, is going to socialize with him. If you hover over the booty call icon, it says socialize. Okay, Gia, go away. She's trying to get her booty call on. <laughs> Everybody else is just hanging out today. Nobody in this house has a job, and Ivan is the only one left who's still in school. <laughs> They're all just hanging around. Kevin has checked the uh, the job market today, and there was not a job in politics available for him, so he is still not working. And I'm just pretty much taking care of everybody's needs, waiting on something interesting to happen. 
Ivan here wants to see the ghost of Russ. <laughs> I love that one. It's so funny. Um, you're not going to be killing Ross and seeing his ghost anytime soon, though. That's like an impossible want to fulfill. Well, it is 7.30 at night, and Don is calling to talk to Gia. How sweet. He didn't call to talk to Eva, but he did call to talk to Gia. I'm going to let her go and talk to him, and we'll just look at their relationship, too. Um, she is friends with her father, Don. They did get to know each other quite a bit uh, whenever she was little, and he used to come over and visit Nina. And now he's calling to check on her, and that is so sweet. I wish he would have called to talk to Eva as well, but he didn't. <laughs> we'll take what we can get out of Don when he feels like being a good father. Ivan went to class today, and he has... 13 hours until his final exam. He will be passing his junior year. Then we just have to get him through his senior year, which I hope he will be able to pass. He had no uh, desire to get creativity skill. So um, hopefully he doesn't need any more of that for his senior year. GPA of 2.8. It's passing. It's passing. Ivan just got back from his final exam, and he met the requirements to become a senior. He Finished the semester with a C plus, got a grant of 500 simoleons, and that is awesome. He only has one year left to go, and let's look. He's going to pass. He is going to make it. Um, he needs charisma skill in order to get an A, but uh, he has no interest in that. What he likes to do is cook. He is always serving food, always loving to cook different things for his friends here, and because of that, he has a cooking level four, which is what he needed in his senior year. So I am so proud and happy for Ivan, he is going to get through and he's going to be able to succeed in his chosen career, whatever that may be. Kevin is over here talking on the phone to his dad. Uh, John called to talk to him and they are doing very well. Their relationship is 100 over 100 and um, they have really gotten closer uh, since Kevin moved out and John it was just kind of like, you know, I miss my son. I'm going to try and accept him. And he has, and it's been really good for him. He, now, John hates Fabian still, so we're hoping that he's going to come around eventually to Fabian because Fabian is such a sweetheart, and maybe he'll see how happy um, Fabian makes Kevin, and we're just hoping that he's going to accept that in the future. But right now, we'll take what we can get. He's getting along very well with Kevin. As soon as Kevin gets off the phone, we're going to have him go and check the computer for jobs again and see if we can find him an opening in the politics career. And what do you know, there is an opening in the politics career track as an intern level two. Kevin gets to start at level two because he did get quite far in his college career. He got far enough to let him start at level two anyway. He's going to make 420 simoleons a day. That is awesome starting pay. Yes, he will take the job. The first one of our graduates to actually become employed, or actually not graduates, but college attendees, I guess we should say. Uh, because he did not graduate. And now he wants to get a skill point. Of course, now he does. He also wants to have 30 best friends at once. That's going to be kind of a tough one. But I'm going to lock in the skill point for him. Also, Ivan is now sick with the flu. I think everybody in the house has the flu right now. Um, they just keep spreading it around to each other. And as soon as somebody gets healthy, they get it again. It's horrible. <laughs> So we're going to keep our eye on Ivan as he uh, finishes up his senior year and for anything else interesting to happen with the rest of our young adults here um, as they finish out their carefree life because once they get back to Pleasant View, things aren't going to be so easy. They're going to have to fend for themselves again. They're not going to have cheap rent in a campus house anymore. And so another year has passed by. Fabian and Gia are 25 years old. Kevin is 24, uh, Eva is also 24, and Ivan is 21. I am using some of Ivan's grant money, that 500 simoleons that he got, to buy a TV for the roommates here because they desperately need one. They haven't had a TV the whole entire time they've lived here, and getting fun has been quite difficult for them. They can basically play chess and dance and read, and they're getting sick of that. They want to watch TV. So Ivan decided to use his grant money and buy a TV for everyone to share. And he's going to go watch some cooking channel because he loves cooking. Even though that's not his hobby, it should be. His hobby is sports, which he also loves. And Gia's just going to get down right in front of the TV. Turn that off and watch TV. 
He just got a brand new TV. She went over to it whenever I bought it and was like, oh, what's this? I hate TV. She really is not interested in it. She only wants to listen to music and play chess. Okay, it's the middle of the night and all of a sudden, Gia rolled the want <laughs> to join the athletic career or the medicine career. Either one of these would be great for her. Medicine because she has a degree in biology and uh, athletic because she's very interested in fitness and also biology. So this would be great for her. I'm going to go have her look right now on the computer and let's see what jobs are available. Uh, whichever one is available first, she will take. Full time, please. Oh my gosh, get out of the way. Get out of the way, Fabian. We gotta get this woman a job. All right, here she goes. Okay, well, there is a job in the medical career, and this makes me think, I wonder if whenever Don called her up, he wasn't trying to get her to go in the medical field with him. Um, I think he was probably like, you know, you do have a degree in biology, you could follow in my footsteps and get into the medical field like me and become a doctor, a successful doctor like your dad. And I think she listened to that advice, and she is going to go take this job as an emergency medical technician, level one. She gets 280 a day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have her take it. And this makes perfect sense. She's trying to be like her dad. Uh, she took an interest in biology in college. And now she is going to be hopefully become a doctor. She starts her new job um, tomorrow at 8 a.m. And she wants to get a puppy, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm locking this in because when she gets back to Pleasant View, this is going to give us an excuse to go to our new pet shelter and have her adopt. And she has the flu again. She just got healthy. It's probably because they're all crammed together in this tiny little bathroom, breathing and coughing on each other, giving each other the flu. All right, Gia just got home from her first day of work and she was promoted already to paramedic. I think Dawn probably put a good word in for her at the uh, hospital in SimCity and she was immediately promoted to level two. She brought home 385 simoleons with a bonus of 770. I'm gonna have her go ahead and deposit as much of this as she can into her bank account which will be about 1,100 simoleons. She's gonna go ahead and do that. And remember when Gia wished for Oh no, the computer's broken. Okay, first of all, she's going to call a repairman to, to fix the computer, and then she's going to deposit that after it's fixed. And remember when she wished for wealth? She ne she only ever got one sack of money. She didn't get the three that Ivan got. So that's very strange. I don't really understand why that happens. Um, I'm sure if one of you know, you'll put it in the comments and let me know. All right, let's call repairman to come repair this because we don't want anybody to get electrocuted trying to repair it with low mechanical skill. All right, he's coming right over and then she can deposit that. And let's look at her hours. Um, she now works 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Wow, so she's gonna have to go to work right away tonight. So she's gonna have to try to get some rest if she can. Uh, Ivan is off to class. We still have about 19 hours until his final exam, and then we will be finished in university. And it has been so much fun, but I am ready to move on and get everybody moved into their own households back in Pleasant View. And Kevin just got home from his first day of work, and he was immediately promoted to level three of lobbyist in the politics career. That is awesome for him. He brought home 1,500 simoleons, and we're going to put that in his bank account once again as soon as the computer is fixed. And this is really great because this is this is just more money that they can take with them whenever they go back. Okay, did you fix it, Waylon Fairchild? All right, he did. So we, we will have them no, now go and deposit their money. Oh, now he's fixing other things? Oh, gosh. All right, Ivan just got back from his final exam. He has graduated. He finished the semester with a grade of C+. As a result, the school has given Ivan a final grant of 500 simoleons. He is done, guys. He has graduated. Now, he technically has 72 hours to leave. Um, so we're going to use this time for everybody to get packed up and move back to Pleasant View. I'm so excited. 
And before we end the episode, I would just like to give a shout out to one of my patrons, Jacob, also affectionately known in our Discord server as Grimmelkin. Thank you so much for your support, Jacob. You are awesome. I love having you in the Discord. I love having you in our private live streams. And you are just a pleasure to hang out with in the Sims community. So thank you again so much for being an awesome patron. I really appreciate it. And if anyone watching is interested in becoming a patron, you can visit me at patreon.com slash pleasant sims for more information you get access to our private discord server to our patron only live streams bonus videos from pleasant view and you can even become a character or a townie in my build a city challenge